What's up guys, welcome back to Latin Top 6. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, I'm super excited. I don't know if you guys could already tell from my voice. Uh, I am a little bit under the weather. So, um, I had three places in mind that I wanted to go to, but because I'm feeling under the weather, I kind of reached out to a couple friends and let them know, hey, you know, I haven't been feeling too hot with the temperatures constantly changing here in Florida. Like this last month has been insane. Uh, we had that huge, like cold, not compared to the rest of the country, but we did have that huge cold front and we dropped below uh, 32 degrees here for, for like, I think it was two or three days. So it's been like up and down, up and down. Like right now outside it's like 80 degrees, but later on tonight like right now it's 640 like later on tonight it's supposed to go down to like 60 so it's just like this constant hot and cold hot and cold this just has me like oh my god getting in and out of being sick so um honestly i feel like it's just sniffles and that's pretty much it but i do want something to help i've been drinking like vitamin c i got myself tested it's not covid um and it's just i've been kind of dealing with this for the past month and a half some days I, i'm normal nothing and then two days later you know, my voice is like this, <coughs> I'm coughing and <clears throat> I, I don't know what's going on. However, today I've decided that we're gonna go to what they call is the best hot pot restaurant in Orlando. Now this place is an all you can eat hot pot buffet. Uh, they do have that option. I think it's $32.99 at the time of recording this. Normally that's what I do. Um, I do all you can eat and then I take advantage of everything that they have to offer because I'm a little under the weather and I normally don't eat that much anyway. Um, I did notice that they have some dinner specials and they have one that's really cheap. It probably doesn't have much, but because of the amount of things that it brings, maybe all together, it might be enough to just fill me up. And it's, uh, I believe it's $21.99, the, the dinner plate that I'm getting. And I think it brings like a small amount of, um, of, uh, I believe like, you know, thinly sliced beef, thinly, thinly sliced sliced chicken thinly sliced pork and then it brings pork balls chicken balls uh beef balls and then some vegetables and it all comes together and, and like i think it's only 21.99 i do like this place because it has like six different broths and it's a restaurant that's dedicated to this so it's not going to be like you know like for example the k-pop place that we went to which is still to this day now one of my new favorite places to go anytime i have friends that come over it's usually where i take them because they have such a huge choice of items um but this place specializes in hot pot so they don't have barbecue it's just the hot pot um and then they have like a whole bunch of broth so we'll check it out obviously when we get there but hopefully that kind of helps whatever this is helps me recover a bit and i did want to make a video it's just this week has been extremely busy because we have family and friends visiting from other countries so we're trying to like be readily available and showing them around orlando so I'm taking this day for myself, try to see if I can recover. It ended up that I woke up feeling like this today. I was fine yesterday, um, but it is what it is. So let's, hot, uh, let's head over there. And with that said, the name of the place is Hotto Pato. All the, uh, all the information will be in the description below with the address of the location and their website as always. But yeah, I am pretty hungry and hopefully this helps me recover. So let's head over there. Let's see if this is really as good as they say. We are here, we made it. Um, so I really am liking the way this looks. I mean, you just, just gotta take a look around and take a look at this table. So of course, when you're seated down, you have this amazing one, pretty large actually, um, like skillet where they're gonna put like the large bowl for the hot pot so you can share that with the other person that's sitting on the other side. You have here the different specials that I was talking to you guys about when we were <clears throat> back in the car and I was kind of letting you guys know. They do have all you can eat. But they have this awesome option here, which is what I'm thinking of getting, which is the pork dumpling, which has chicken slices, beef slices, pork slices, chicken balls, beef balls, pork balls, tofu, napa, cabbage, and rice sticks, which I think is quite a nice variety for one person. You know, you got mild or medium, and then of course you have all these types of stocks that you could kind of have. So I'm probably gonna have mine to be mild. And for my stock base, I'm probably gonna have beef and cilantro since I've never had that before. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then of course, if you go to the other side, it kind of does a breakdown of all the all you can eat and like all the items that it comes with when you get it, which is way more than what we have here. But I think that might be a good option for another day. With that said, they actually also gave me a menu here, the a la carte menu. So of course I'm gonna get that special, but if there's anything additional that I want out of this little menu here, they would go ahead and I would order it and they'd bring it over for like the set price that's on there. All right guys, awesome. We ended up going with the dinner plate special with the $21.99 one. 
Um, if anything, I told them um, I'll probably just end up ordering more if I end up wanting more, or if I notice after eating that that it wasn't enough, I'll comment to, to you guys <clears throat> to let you know ahead of time because you're not really supposed to switch it from once you choose a special, you can't really change it over to a all you can eat. Uh, they may be able to do it for me, but I don't want that's not a normal thing, so I, I, I don't want to advertise that. So, normally, whatever you choose, you have to stick with it, and then of course, you could order additional things, but you're gonna have to order it a la carte. With that said, the gentleman brought over a little tray with a huge amount of sauces. Let's go ahead and check that out. So if you look here, I mean, you have ginger sauce, sauce, sauce sesame sauce, garlic sauce, oyster, hoisin, and a whole bunch of other options that you want to go ahead and either put into your broth or maybe put into a plate here. So this is, I'm guessing, is where I'm going to be able to put some broth to have. Here I'm going to have some of my sauces. And then here I have my dish here for my meats and then we ended up ordering as i mentioned to you guys the beef and cilantro and that's what we're gonna go with the other cool thing is that they actually have a huge drink menu as well let me go ahead and show you guys so as you guys can see they have a huge beverage menu i am definitely gonna get a boba tea and i'm really craving some coconut today so i think that's what we're gonna do but they also have fruit slushies ice cream beer sake bottles and things like that so you have a lot of options when you come here which to me that's the greatest things about these places just the amount of options that you guys have so with that said i'm gonna wait for the broth to come out maybe start having a little bit of clear up my sinuses a little bit but I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes okay guys so this is a huge amount of food um for one person so i'm really liking this so far they have tofu and like all the things that i mentioned in that list but you guys got to take a look at this broth real quick i'm about to try it so this is the pork and cilantro broth it's heating up really quick so i'm gonna go ahead and just mix it around a little bit and this is the broth itself i haven't put anything into it you can see all the, the seasonings the vegetables the cilantro the pieces of beef some onions but we're gonna go ahead and start placing some of this meat in here. Probably should be waiting until it boils a little more, so what I'll do is I'll put in a little bit of the chicken, a little bit of the pork, or like one piece of each, and then I'll wait until it gets warmer. I tried it a little bit and it was pretty warm already, but we'll try it when, it gets, when it's boiling hot, I'll start putting more stuff in it. In all honesty, I probably should have waited, but it is what it is. So I want to try this out though. This broth looks amazing. Mm. The broth on its own, really flavorful. That beef flavor comes through, the cilantro comes through, you have a little bit of pepper, you have the onions, it adds a little bit of acidity, but it's really, really, really good. Oh man. Usually in the other hot pot places that I've been to, unless you get them that, like spicy, um, oh, talking about spicy, I did get get it mild, so I do see some pepper flakes in there. But other places that I've been to, usually the broth is kind of simple. Um, it has good flavor, but that's there's no depth to it. It's just like a very basic flavor. And then what that does is when you cook all the protein and all the items in it, that's when the flavor starts really coming through and like the broth ends up being delicious. But the broth on its own now, before I even put anything in it, It's delicious. In all honesty, guys, in all honesty, it's just what I needed. So the other thing is that they give you a ladle for the broth itself, but they give you this one that has the holes in it. So you can kind of easily either put in if once it's like really hot and really boiling, or you could take stuff out easily without having to worry about it, you know, constantly taking out broth. All right, so they got to put sesame sauce, sweet chili sauce, hoisin sauce, garlic sauce, all together and I think a little bit of Cupid mayo? Oh no, peanut sauce, sorry. It looked like mayo, but it looked like Cupid mayo. They told me like mix it all together. Once it's one solid color, when I get some of the beef or maybe the chicken out, which I actually think they're pretty much ready. Let's go ahead and try it out. And then he said, if I want it spicier once I do that, then I can go ahead and add some of the Szechuan chili paste and Szechuan chilies that I got from some one of the sauces there. So. Go ahead and we're gonna remove some of the meat. Alright. Alright, also 
guys. So let's go ahead and get this chicken here. And we're gonna dip it into the sauce that he made for us. Mm. Oh my God, that is an explosion of flavors. Mm. Oh my God. You taste the sesame. You taste the sweetness of the hoisin and oyster sauce. You taste the garlic. Mm. You taste the peanut, everything. Not only that, that meat that goes in there, super tender, super soft, literally almost melts in your mouth. As you guys can see, the broth is finally boiling. Let's go ahead and take these two out here. Put it on the plate. And then we're about to start really getting in there. And putting in some of the stuff. I'm gonna do this with the, the other hand. Oh man, I am super impressed. It's super nice, it's super quiet in here, which is the reason why I'm not talking very loud. There's uh, two young ladies in front of me and they're having dinner right now, so I don't wanna interrupt them. Place, everybody's being really respectful with the sound, so I don't wanna be like screaming and things like that. But oh, let me get comfortable. And yeah, check this broth out. So with all the stuff I put in it, of course the temperature went down a bit. But regardless, I just put this in there and like I feel like some of this stuff is almost done. I mean, these noodles look like they're gonna be done pretty soon. But this is gonna give so much more flavor to that broth. I am really excited for this. All right, guys, I got myself some noodles, a little bit of broth in there because it's super hot. So we're gonna try that out now. All right, guys, Let's try this out. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, that is hot. Oh man, it needs a little bit more time, but these noodles are already absorbing the really deep in depth flavor of that broth. Oh wow, that's amazing. It is really hitting the spot. Honestly, everything's really good from what I'm trying so far, but I cannot say this enough. The sauce is making this like a hundred million times better. Chicken ball, tastes like chicken, gelatinous, a little bit of pepper. And that's pretty much it. But because of the peanut and the sesame, mm, oh, so good. Go ahead and have a little bit of the cabbage here. Mm. Still has that slight crunch. You gotta be careful not to leave it in there too long. That's why I didn't put that much. Because it still has that nice crunch, but it also has the flavor of the broth in it. Oh my goodness, guys. This is my favorite new hot pot place so far, honestly. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some of this Szechuan pepper, and we're gonna add it onto here. That might be kind of a lot, but I want a little bit more of a kick. I want my snots and boogers to be coming out from this. Oh, can't wait. All right, sweet, it's all there together. Oh, I can't wait till we get that piece of meat there and try that out. But yeah, that broth is going. All right, let's go ahead and try this out. Mm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add more. That honestly, that spice, that's what, what it, that's what it was missing. He was right, he told me about it. He was like, oh, you should put some spice in there. If you don't want to though, hold off. And then if you think you need more spice, add it on there later. And I'm glad I did. Put that with some of the noodles here. Mm. Tofu, super nice, super soft. Almost like scrambled eggs, like, like a hard scrambled egg consistency. Time to try these noodles out. Throw these dumplings out. Go ahead and try this one first. Mm. Mm, these are pork dumplings. The pork is nice and pink on the inside. I thought it was raw for a second. It's not. It's just pink pork. So let's go ahead and try this baby out. All right, guys. Again. Mm, dumplings nice and salty when you get that sauce and then a little bit of the depth of the salty and sweetness because it's a sweet and salty sauce because of the peanut and the hoisin and stuff like that mm, makes these dumplings taste really good on top of that when you check the inside the inside is nice and filled with the broth so it's almost like you're eating a soup dumpling because it's constantly absorbing that oh so good and did i mention the sauce was good <laughs> 
You were right, man. This is like amazing, bro. <laughs> this sauce is really good. Good job, man. Ooh, everything so far has been delicious. One thing I forgot to mention, at least the chicken, the, uh, the beef and the pork, it's not frozen. I'm sure you guys saw it, but it's not like frozen slices like they do in, or in, like normally in other places. So that's definitely a huge plus. And then of course, coconut milk tea. All right. Mm, that's really good too. Oh my God. This is perfect. This was the perfect decision, seriously. I'm gonna keep enjoying some of this. Slowly start filling this up again, because I've already pretty much figured everything out. One thing I do wish they had is a little bit more noodles. You could order more. Let me see how much they are. I'll try to look from here. Yeah, it ends up being like four to 450, depending on the noodles that you get. I see one as expensive as five, which I think is the udon noodles. I think at that point, you're gonna get so close to the all you can eat that you might as well just do the all you can eat. But somebody said last week on our video on the all you can eat, uh, cheapest all you can eat Chinese place, they were like, try not to get as many noodles or try not to get as many right, as much rice. That way you could really take advantage of the price. And they're right, honestly. That was the pork ball. Was super delicious. Salty. On its own, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Let me show you why. The inside is really dense, really gelatinous. It has good flavor, but nothing in depth. What really takes it over the top is, oop, I accidentally dropped it in the sauce. This is the sauce that this gentleman made. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm gonna get a little broth and put it in here. I'm kind of craving a little bit of broth. Maybe give it some time to cool down. In all honesty, I'm feeling like I should have made the broth a little spicier, but you guys know the situation. So next time I'll definitely get it a little more spicy than mild especially because of the boba. And even though I did the dinner, as you guys just saw, you can still get a refill on the broth itself. So if you're like me, you're eating your proteins and stuff like that, but also really enjoy the broth itself, that's another plus. I'm starting to feel full, but I still got a ton of food left. Oh my God. Guys, I've just been sitting here eating. Honestly, I am full. I did not finish that, uh, the plate, so definitely it's a good deal if it's for one person. I wanna ask him if like, I get some of the other plates where it brings a little bit more, if it includes two people, because, and I think it would because you're buying the plate, you know what I mean? So it's definitely really affordable if you want it to be. If you wanna do the all you can eat, that's great too, but it's definitely really affordable. Um, yeah, with that said, I wanna introduce you guys to Ramon. He is uh, the waiter that we had today, and he did a fantastic job, and that is the best freaking sauce I have ever tried, in all honesty, so I kind of wish I would have memorized it. I know what most of the ingredients that he used, but I don't know all of them. Um, and I wish I would have memorized it, so I could have uh, made it from here on out any Korean barbecue place that I go to with my wife, because that was delicious. I want you guys to see the color of this broth now that we're done. And then I think he should be by soon so we could do the introduction. Look at that beautiful layer of fat up top of the broth. There's literally like nothing in there. It's just like a cabbage piece and that's it. It's like really, you can't even, it's not transparent anymore. But I'm telling you guys, this is the most delicious like soup ever. I was gonna order dessert, but this is super, super delicious. And it's just, I feel like it's the right way to end this. Mm. The one that I got is coconut. It's super creamy. You taste the tea, but you really taste the coconut. The boba balls are good. I feel like they're a little bit hard in the middle. In all honesty, that's kind of cool for me, but I have a feeling they're not supposed to be like that. Like, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be completely chewy. But once you get to the middle, it does feel like it should have been boiled a little longer when they were making them. Anyway, I'll see you guys when Ramon gets here. All right, that's, that's good. <laughs> All right guys, awesome. So as I mentioned before, I wanted to introduce Ramon to you guys because that sauce is the best sauce I've had in, honest, in all honesty in like any of the Korean barbecue places and hot pot places that we've been to. But this is Ramon That's here. because we make them all here. That's why. That's <laughs> yeah, he did. He did make it for me. Hello. If you want to introduce nice yourself. To and... you. My name is Ramon. Well, I work here at Hado Pado. 
come visit me. <laughs> yeah, guys, you won't be disappointed. The service is phenomenal. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, awesome. So we did it. We ended up finishing, oh, well, I ended up finishing as much as I could. I mean, if you guys want to look real quick with this camera, there's still a bunch of stuff left that I just could not finish. With that said, the guy was nice enough to bring out a strawberry mochi ice cream, and I'm gonna go ahead and try this with you guys, but let's go ahead and check this out. All right, guys, and if you wanna take a look at this, this is the mochi strawberry ice cream. We're gonna go ahead and take a bite here real quick. Nice gooey frozen thin outside. And then the inside, it's nice and this almost like a strawberry sorbet flavor. So it's really good. Oh, I love this. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. It means the world to me. We're about to hit a thousand subscribers finally. I think at the time of recording this, we're at 805. And it's like it's been going up like crazy these last couple of days, and I've been really, really impressed. But Thank you guys so much for tuning in all the time, every week. Really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the videos. This place is gonna be one of my new top favorite hot pot places in Orlando. I know a few, this is gonna be my favorite one now. Uh, remember, this is a dedicated hot pot place, so just keep that in mind. With that said, guys, thank you so much for everything. I will see you guys next weekend, and until then, let's just keep on eating. Mm.